Hello everybody, I'm Kevbotomy and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be doing something much, much different from usual. I will not be making any more Minecraft content today. I am talking about something I have just found in Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. And if you haven't been able to tell by the title, I have found Primal Regigigas within the game. Now, it took quite a bit of hacking to actually achieve this, and I don't have a capture card, so I wasn't able to record any of it, but I was able to find some footage, well not some footage, some content that was excluded at the end of the game from the developers, and it's really, really cool, and I can't wait to tell you guys all about it and how I found it. So without further ado, I'm going to get into some of the details of the game and explain how I found this really crazy easter egg. So the first thing that led me down this gigantic rabbit hole was the mysterious Project Azoth that is featured within Team Magma or Team Aqua's base. So if you go just north northeast of Lily Cove City, you will encounter this hideout and you usually find it as you play through the game. But as you talk to people within the base, you'll find out about a Project Azoth. Now you will read about it in the bookcase, but if you talk to one of the members of Team Aquara Magma, they will say that while they're familiar with the AZ portion of Azoth, referencing the beginning and the end and the powers of Groudon and Kyogre, they're rather in the dark as to the meaning of the OTH part. Now the OTH is initially what sparked sort of my interest in this idea because OTH happens to be the patterns of the dots on the faces of the various Regis. So this is very cool. I thought, okay, so AZ is Groudon Kyogre beginning and end OTH. That's kind of maybe bringing the Regis into this whole huge amounts of power thing that you get with Primal Reversion. So my thoughts were, okay, cool, maybe the Regis can Primal Revert. Now that's fine, and I started looking around the region for clues, but I was never really able to find anything. And that is kind of what led me to the Devon Corporation. So with the theory in hand that the Regis were somehow involved with Project Azoth and the workings of Primal Groudon and Kyogre, I, I really set out on a journey. I started a brand new game and started playing through, and paid some real close attention to the text of the various NPCs as I went through the game. Now one interesting thing I found is that there is an actual employee at the Devon Corporation that tells you about Infinity Energy before you even have the first badge in the game, or maybe it's a little bit after. Can't quite remember, but when the team Aqua or Magma Grunt steals the Devon goods and runs off to Rust Earth Tunnel, you have an opportunity to talk to some of the NPCs inside the Devon Corporation and, well, they have a little bit different things to say than normal. In specific, one employee mentions that only people who work at Devon should know about the Infinity Energy in the first place, and this is sort of bringing about a few mysterious questions. If only Devon is supposed to know about Infinity Energy, well, how do Team Aqua or Magma know? Now the answer to that is actually revealed a little bit later on in the story when you find out that Tabitha, or I believe Shelly, worked for Devon Corporation back in the day and they were able to bring some of the secrets over to Team Magma, hence how they were to able to develop the Azoth plan. But if Team Aqua and Magma were focusing on the Groudon and Kyogre aspect, that would imply that the Regis were sort of locked down by Devon already and that the OTH wasn't really worth mentioning to the lower employees of the Magma and Aqua ranks. With this said, it's safe to assume that somehow Devon has their hands in the workings of the Primal Regis. Alright guys, so the biggest piece of the puzzle I'm about to talk about now, and that is Seamawville. Seamawville totally opened up my search for these Primal Regis, and overall, it's definitely the most important information of the bunch. So, when you go through Seamawville for the first time, and you're reading up on all the lore, there's a lot of things that can sort of throw you off, but there's a lot of really good information in there, too. So you find out that Seamawville is headed by Watson, who also did the Newmawville project, and that'll come important in a little bit. 
Um, and another important fact is that CMAVIL was, well, Watson was partnered with the Devon Corporation to run CMAVIL. So this is really cool. They're digging for infinity energy. You find that out as you read through the lore. And then you also find out that Watson ended up disbanding the project because of the harm that this was going to cause to Pokemon. Now this is really, really, really interesting from the perspective of infinity energy. Because that's kind of what infinity energy is, is it's the energy sapped from Pokemon. It's Pokemon's life force. So that means that the Devon Corporation is literally using Pokemon's life force to create this energy. Now that's all fine and dandy if you have a powerful enough source, like, say, a legendary Pokemon. And that's what I think is going on. I think that the Devon Corporation is using likely one of the Regis to generate their infinity energy, and that Seamawville and possibly New Mawville were projects designed to capture the other two legendaries with regards to infinity energy. But because Watson managed to get some years in on the project and figured out what was going on, he stopped it before it could happen, because obviously he's Watson, he loves Pokemon, and he is a gym leader, which means he probably has close ties with the Pokemon League. Now the Pokemon League is the strongest trainers in the region, they often go to handle crises where there's legendary Pokemon running about, and so it only makes sense that Watson being with the Elite Four, they would try to shut down Devon's intentions to harvest the energy. So far I have discussed sort of how I came about this idea and how I figured out that there might be a little bit something more than meets the eye with the Regis. I, Talk, started with Project Azoth, and discovered some neat things about Devon Corporation, and then Seamawville really brought it all together, and actually gave some potential locations for where the Regis would be sort of housing their natural energy, I guess? Now, I'm not totally sure, so for Groudon and Kyogre, you have Mount Pier and the Cave of Origin. One represents the beginning, and one represents the end. So it only makes sense that there would be some sort of overworld location representing the power of the different Regis. So if we assume that deep underground, beneath Seamawville, Newmawville, and the Devon Corporation, let's say we have some Regi locations that house their deep legendary power that lets them primal revert. And Devon would be using one of them right now, and the other two would be unavailable because of Watson's actions. However, there are not only three Regis, there are in fact four. And Regigigas is not natively available in Hoenn. Normally, Regigigas doesn't show up until you go to Sinnoh and reach the Snowpoint Temple. And overall, that creates a bit of a problem. So. When Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire were made, they're obviously remakes of the original, and Regigigas hadn't actually been created yet. So this left a bit of a problem for the developers as to how to bring Primal Regigigas into the game. Now I think that they were initially planning to do all of this Devon Corporation stuff and Infinity Energy and Primal Reversion. I think this was all going to happen originally but they had to cut it out in the end, probably due to time constraints, I'm thinking. So going off of that theory, I'm thinking that initially they were going to introduce Regigigas with a primal form, probably with its own special area. With New Maville, Seamawville, and Devon housing the three main Regis, it would almost make sense to have a, a fourth location for Regigigas. Somewhere really special that might be a later game event for the player to access. And it was through this theory that I sort of discovered how to actually unlock this Primal Energy Gigas. So, if you are ready to unlock this Pokemon, if you want to see it in-game, be prepared to follow the next few steps, and I will, I will straight up tell you how to get this thing. Alright guys, so I hope you have your hacking devices at the ready, because this is going to be quite the doozy. So, first and foremost, in order to activate any of this, 
you need some content that has not been released. So, as you know, you can scan some QR codes, and one of them actually allows you to access a secret base in Moss Deep City and obtain a Regice doll. Now, there are a couple other secret bases you can unlock in this same location, but none of the other ones will give you the dolls for the other Regis. The other Regis are in fact locked, and you cannot get them in-game without hacking. So the first step to actually unlocking Primal Reggie Gigas is to hack yourself the other two dolls. So you need Regice, Regirock, and Registeel dolls to get this done. Right. So you've hacked yourself Regirock and Registeel dolls, and now you're ready to move on to the next step. So what you want to do is you want to fly, and you want to go to the secret islet. So that will be the island with the big tree in the middle, and you will notice that much like the ruins where you catch the various Regis, the bushes that surround the tree, there's six of them and they make the exact same patterns as the rocks around the Regi tombs. Now this is a huge hint and what you need to do is you need to make a secret base and it doesn't matter how you do it but you need to put all three Regi dolls somewhere in that secret base. Once you've done that, you are ready to move on to the next step. So you've done the first two steps, you've got all your Reggie dolls, you've got them placed in the base, and you're wondering what to do next. And I was wondering the same thing. So I went back, I started checking over everything, and started wondering what could happen. So we know that Devin has control of three of the Reggies, and that Captain Stern, who was working for the Devon Corporation and with Watson, was looking for Infinity Energy at C. Mauville. Now, Stern is very interested in an item known as the Scanner, which can be found at C. Mauville, and he's even willing to trade you an item that can give you access to a legendary Pokemon. So, obviously, Stern, he really, really wants that Scanner. Now, with Stern having history looking for legendary Pokemon and their associated energy, it only makes sense that this scanner is going to be used to look for Primal Regigigas' location, so to speak. So if the scanner is indeed used to search for legendary Pokemon, I thought, well, maybe there's a chance if I carry the scanner around with me, I might be able to find some sort of hint with the scanner as to where the location of Primal Regigigas would be. Now, after a lot of searching, I didn't actually find anything, and the scanner didn't even seem to offer any reasonable hints. All the scanner really seemed to say was that, yes, Stern is still searching for the location of at least one more legendary Pokemon, and I would be willing to bet that it's Primal Regigigas. Now, the other reason I believe there's a separate Primal Regigigas area is because... Regigigas shows up at Regice's tomb. Now, this doesn't seem to make a lot of sense. Nintendo is usually pretty good for making sure that their legendaries are well-placed and planned out ahead of time, so the fact that Regigigas seemed to just be slapped into Regice's cave, it seems a little bit quick, like they just needed somewhere to shove him because their original plans didn't work out. Alright guys, so that leads me to the final part of the video, and that is how to actually trigger the event using third-party software. You do have to modify it to actually access this data, but I'm about to tell you how to do that. But before I do, let's do a quick review of all the information I covered just to get to this point. So, it all started with Project Azoth and wondering what's OTH? Find out OTH's Regis, and that connects the Regis to Primal Energy. So with suspecting Regis of Primal Energy and connecting the dots to Devon's Infinity Energy, combined with all of the Seamawville lore, we come to realize that Seamawville, Newmawville, and the Devon Corporation all house, deep underground, a special place where legendary energy can be harvested. Now we also know that Captain Stern is searching for Primal Regigigas' location, but doesn't actually know where it is. It's, it's not on any mainstream sort of boating route, you could say. And this 
is where we come to the final piece of evidence, and it actually comes in the form of a map in-game. When you fly around, on the back of your Latios or Latias, take a look at the bottom screen on your DS. Right in the very center of the map, you will notice that there is a perfectly square, light green shape in the center of the rest of the forest. That's right, the very center of the map, there is a light patch. And if you look to the right, there is very clearly a path and some beach that also show up on this map. This was going to be the location for Primal Regigigas, they just didn't have time to finish it. And now, it's time. It's time for me to show you how to finally access Primal Regigigas. And I'm sorry to say, April Fools. Overall, I had a lot of fun with this theory, and I'm actually, I'm, I'm, I'm quite sure that Primal Regigigas was originally intended for the games, they just, they didn't quite have the time or resources to actually follow through and get it finished, and instead they opted for putting Regigigas in with the other Regis. However, it's really neat that the Seamawville lore and the Devon Corporation all gets tied together into this really cohesive story, and in the end, it's also actually an easter egg. I, I genuinely believe that the stones in Devon's office are supposed to be the primal stones for the Regis. But guys, I, I hope that I didn't clickbait you too much with this video. I do hope you enjoyed it and enjoyed listening to the theory. I'm going to get back to my regular Minecraft content after this, but if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, and if you care about Minecraft content, make sure to subscribe, and I guess I will see you in another video.